Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are going to do a summer outfit lookbook. Outfits that I would be wearing if I wasn't in quarantine. I feel like it's been so long since I've done an outfit lookbook. Before we go ahead and get started, if you're curious about any of the jewelry that I'm wearing, I do have a video on my everyday jewelry, so if you haven't seen that yet, I'll go ahead and link it above and below. The makeup that I'm currently wearing, I just uploaded a tutorial on, and it is a full face of black owned beauty brands. You definitely wanna check that out. I love the way that this turned out and then coming soon I'm planning on doing a clothing haul of some black owned clothing brands So if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it without further ado Let's go ahead and get started with the lookbook from Princess Polly. It fits me really well. It's a color that makes the outfit a little bit more interesting. These shoes are the platform chucks. I'm obsessed with these. I wore these in New York and they are the most comfortable shoe. I love how they add a little bit of chunk to the outfit and make them look a little bit more like cool girl. And then this t-shirt actually thrifted and the more I wear it, the less I like it because the neck is just so slouchy. I prefer oversized t-shirts to have a little bit more of a fitted neck. With some chunky shoes, I think it adds a little bit more of a like punk vibe to the outfit. So I'm obsessed with this. This reminds me so much of how I used to dress. You guys know I live by the three piece rule and I think this jacket really completes the whole look. This top is from Aritzia, I believe it's from Babaton. I have it in two different colors and I just feel like it's such a clean and classy looking top. I definitely wanna get it in the longer version, but this one is actually the crop and I really like the way that it looks. These jeans are from Levi's, they're thrifted and I just feel like the wash of them, the fit is just perfect. These shoes are from Koyo and these are actually the platform Biancas. I love Koyo sneakers. I mentioned them in my sneaker collection video, but I love these. I wear them all the time and I like how these add a little bit more height and chunk to my outfit as well. This jacket is from Mango. It is actually something that I cut up myself. The crop look goes with so many different outfits. I tend to dress a little bit more like street style anyway, so I feel like this allows the jacket to be so much more wearable. When I wear this denim jacket a little bit off the shoulder, I think it looks a little bit cooler and a little bit more effortless versus if I wore it like this, it just looks like I kind of just threw on the jacket because I was cold, not because it went with the outfit type of vibe, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is such a vibe. These pants are definitely the highlight of the outfit. We are using the same top from Aritzia as before. 
Also underneath this top, I'm wearing a strapless bra. I do have a video all about bras and which ones to wear under a certain top, so definitely check out that video. But these pants are actually brand new. They're from Cold Laundry. And they're actually a black owned clothing brand and I'm obsessed with their loungewear. I also ordered a couple other pieces from there that I'll be sharing with you in a second, but I definitely will be mentioning them in my haul that's coming soon. These pants are so comfortable and so soft. They are actually super high-waisted and they're unisex, so Brandon actually fits them as well. I have them in a size small and I would say they fit kind of like a medium almost because they are super big on me but they are snug around my waist which i really like and i like that they're kind of like a straight wide leg situation so i feel like since these pants are so like billowy and big paired with a tight crop top it's just such a good contrast i paired them with my nike air force ones just because they are a good chunky shoe they go with everything and especially because these pants have a little bit more of a like wider leg i wanted to wear a chunky shoe with it actually meant to pair those beige pants with these shoes and these are the adidas young ones they kind of make the outfit look a little bit more interesting but you could also wear air force ones but i think that these kind of play off the beige tones as well this is what i originally meant to go with that outfit but just wanted to show you then topped with a bucket hat and my girlfriend Christina, she actually sells merch so it says TFTI on it. I wear it backwards so that the logo doesn't show so it just kind of goes with aesthetic, you know what I mean? I love the way that the bucket hat looks with this outfit. I feel like it just tops everything off. I took some photos earlier today in this outfit and when I was going through them, I was like, that outfit is a vibe. This next outfit is another set that I picked up from Cold Laundry and it is so cozy and comfortable and I believe the material of this is 100% cotton. It doesn't feel quite like my talentless. It feels like a much softer material and as you can see the way that it lays, it's just a smidge more slouchier than some of my talentless stuff is but I don't mind it. It's definitely a different look. This set is again unisex so Brandon does fit it. This is actually a light purple color and I'm obsessed with the way that it looks. The whole set is in a size small but I would say the hoodie fits like a large and the pants fit also like like a medium slash large they are super big on me and i can literally bring them like up past my chest they are just so high waisted so i actually love these they're super comfortable and i feel like they are so chic looking but still kind of streetwear-ish i'm really glad i didn't get a size medium because i think the size small fits me so well okay this is the next outfit and i feel like it looks kind of like gladiator-esque but i kind of like it i think these shoes are so stinking cute and at first when i got them i was like chunky sandals i don't really know but the more i wear them the more i love them i feel like chunky sandals are so in style right now these are actually from a brand called rome and they kind of look like roman sandals <laughs> The only thing is I have to figure out like how to tie them because I literally untied my own shoe earlier just standing here. So I feel like these are kind of a tripping hazard. These shorts are from A Goldie. I just picked them up from the Aritzia sale and I picked up so many things from Aritzia. So if you guys want to see another haul, let me know. I picked up some stuff from Everlane and Aritzia and a couple other places as well. I love these shorts. These are from A Goldie and they're super high-waisted. I don't have a good like gray wash short. So I think these are super cute. They'll go with so many different things i paired with it this top from miss lola and i actually mentioned this in my last clothing haul if you haven't seen that yet i love this top it's super in style right now and i feel like it's not for everybody but if you style it the right way i think it can be really cute okay this is the next outfit and bear with me i would normally wear pasties underneath this but since I already had a strapless bra on, I didn't want to take it off, so I was just a little bit lazy. This top I actually just got from Mango. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it's a little bit too short for me. I don't really wear bra tops as tops that often just because I feel like they're so finicky and I like to be like super low maintenance, throw my clothes on and not have to worry about like fixing whatever all day. These pants are cargo pants from Zara that I picked up a while ago and I don't remember them being this tight on me. I think I need to work out because I'm getting a little bit chonky. I paired with them the same Rome sandals that I wore from earlier and you can see with long pants they are still like such a cool look and the lace up just makes them so interesting looking. On top of this outfit, I actually paired it with the same mango crop jacket from earlier. To be completely honest, I'm not super crazy about this outfit. I think I would probably pair with it like a 
white crop tee or something like that. But this is kind of a fun look. I don't normally wear things like this, but I like how the colors all tie in together. This is the last outfit that I have for you guys, and I feel like you've seen this type of outfit all the time on my channel. These biker shorts are from Beyond Yoga, and these are probably my favorite biker shorts. I love the material that they use because it's so freaking soft. It reminds me a lot of the Lululemon Aligns, but even softer. The material is even thicker too, so I feel like it really hugs in your body. I believe I have them in the size small, and they are super high-waisted, and I like the length of them as well. I actually paired with it this cropped crew neck that I picked up from Aritzia in my last haul. I love how this hoodie is cropped, and I like that it's finished, so it makes it look a little bit more expensive. Paired with the outfit, I have my high socks and my Nike Air Force Ones. I also get tons of questions about the socks that I wear with my Nike Air Force Ones and my favorite socks are from Uniqlo, but you can also get similar ones from like Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link those down in the description box, but I think this is just a super simple fit, super cozy. I threw my hair up in a bun and I feel like my bangs today have been looking so good. It just makes my buns look so much better. Also with this outfit, you can also pair it with an oversized tee over top. You guys know I love oversized tees with biker shorts. So that you guys is the end of today's video. I'll go ahead and have all the pieces linked down below as well as my measurements. Let me know down in the description box what lookbook you want to see next. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also hit that thumbs up button, especially if you like videos like this. It lets me know that you liked it and you want to see more. Plus, it helps me out so much. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.